Hello, I'm Mimi. I'm a full-time digital illustrator and today I'm sharing all the juicy insights into how much my online art business made in 2022 and a breakdown of the last quarter to give you a realistic behind the scenes look at a business like mine. I know money is a bit taboo, but I think it's so important to be able to access realistic information about how much money artists or online business owners make so that if you're thinking of creating a similar business to mine, you can better understand how long it might take for you to be financially secure within your own set of circumstances. Of course, you could earn more income faster than I have, or you could grow an income slower than I have. This is just an insight into my own business and my own accounts. Before we jump into the figures, I just want to say thank you so much to all of you who are watching this video, who have subscribed to this channel or followed me on Instagram, and also a big thank you to my Patreon community because you've all helped make this dream of mine a reality. And also I completely understand and I'm grateful for how fortunate and privileged I am to be in this position. So I guess I just wanted to say thank you so much for your help and support. So in the first quarter of 2022, which is January through to March, I earned a bit over 7,000 Australian dollars for those entire three months. In the second quarter, my income grew by around 60% to about $11,500. And then in the third quarter of the year, it grew by about 60% again to nearly $19,000 over those three months. I thought the trend would surely slow down because 60% growth every three months seems completely unsustainable, so I thought that the fourth quarter would probably settle at around 20,000 Australian dollars. But the final figures are in, and in the last quarter of 2022, my business earned 29,580 Australian dollars, which is somehow, once again, nearly 60% growth from the previous quarter. That means that in total for the calendar year of 2022, my business earned about 67,195 Australian dollars and nearly half of that was in the last three months. All of the figures in this video are before I pay tax and before most business expenses like software, hardware, what I pay my video editor and things like that. So there was a lot of growth in my income from the start of the year compared to the end of the year. And there were a few things that really helped to this financial growth in my business in 2022. I had more professional illustrating opportunities for things like picture books in the second half of the year, which means more payments for advances. This YouTube channel grew a lot last year and with that comes significant growth in ad revenue and sponsorship income. The snowball effect of slowly growing my audience means that everything I create gets more traffic than it used to. I released more digital products like my digital brush pack. And my Patreon continues to grow as my audience grows and has been running long enough now that there's a lot of value in all the videos and articles that are on there. So like I mentioned, my business earned 29,580 Australian dollars in the last quarter of 2022. So let's break that down into the different income streams so that I can show you where that money came from. Affiliate marketing. The smallest income stream for the past quarter came from affiliate marketing, which earned me $215. That's $64 more than the previous quarter. So there was a bit of an increase. It's not something that I focus on very much, so this income stream is always quite small for me. Commissions. The next smallest income stream was commissioned illustrations, which earned me $3,760 over the past three months. This is down from the quarter beforehand because this category includes picture book advances and I didn't have as many of those come into my accounts over the last three months. Online shops. The next income stream is from my online shops, which earned me $3,844 last quarter. That's up $2,766 from the previous quarter, which is quite a lot. And that's because I launched my digital brush pack a couple of months ago, which has really increased my sales on Etsy. That figure also includes my Gumroad and T-Mill shops, where I also sell products. Patreon. The second largest income stream from the last quarter was Patreon, which earned $8,270 over the three months, which was a big increase of over $3,000 from the previous quarter. That's partly because as my audience grows, my Patreon also grows along with it. And partly because I had shared early access to my brush pack on there in October, and I had a big boost from that. 
Now that I've been running my Patreon for quite a long time, there's a lot of great value on there from previous posts. So the longer my Patreon runs for, the more I add to it and the more valuable it is to new patrons. So I think that also helps with growth. For example, I create a Patreon exclusive video every month for the highest tier and patrons have access to all of them. So now when someone joins that tier, they get to watch all of these videos that I've created. And YouTube. So the biggest income stream from last quarter was YouTube, which earned my business $13,488, which is nearly a $6,000 increase from the quarter before that. That includes YouTube AdSense and also sponsorships. And the reason there was such a big increase is because the channel had some larger sponsorship payments than normal. It's because of you guys that this income stream even really exists because when you watch my videos and when you subscribe, like or comment, it all helps my channel to grow and that helps me get more valuable sponsorship opportunities. I only ever work with sponsors who I think are genuinely valuable to you as an audience or who I've used myself and really enjoy, which is why you usually will see the same sponsors popping up in my videos because I really don't work with many. So those are all of my income streams from the fourth quarter of 2022 and it averages out to be about $9,860 per month. And that's before I pay any taxes, business expenses or pay my video editor. Even after those expenses though, it's plenty for me to live comfortably and I'm so relieved and grateful that all of my hard work over the past three years is now paying me a full-time comfortable income. But like I said in the beginning, I also know that I'm so fortunate to have even been in the position to build this business to begin with. It's pretty incredible to look back at how far we've come every once in a while and celebrate our achievements no matter how big or small, no matter how long it took us to get there. For most of my 20s, I dreamed of working for myself as an artist but struggled to find my way. And then in the past two years, I've gone from earning virtually no art income to where I am today making this video. I'm really excited to see how my little digital art business might grow in 2023 and in the next couple of weeks, I'll be making some plans and goals to work towards for this year. So I'll be making a video all about that and sharing it with you soon. Thank you so much for your support watching this video and my other videos. If you enjoyed it, then consider giving it a like and subscribe if you haven't already to see more content about being an artist. Also, if you'd like access to my drawing tutorials and monthly illustration club, then consider joining my community over on Patreon where I share lots of goodies every month. The beautiful Bluebell tier gets access to everything, including a video lesson or drawing walkthrough video every month, plus access to all of the previous ones. And you can even browse the main articles and videos that are available before you join via the Patreon page on my website. I'll leave the links in the description below. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.